Hi, Mouse here, and I'm gonna open some more cards. Well, I got this a while, a short time ago. Not really a while, but yeah. And I haven't really opened, opened anything yet. Other than the package, so. One of the things I got was supposed to be a couple of discs of Pocket Monster movies, but instead, I got two discs of episodes 37 through 48, so. It's apparently black and white four, so somewhere probably, I'm guessing, in the middle of the series, which I haven't opened yet, so that was new, so that was pretty cool. And I got a bunch of cards and stuff. I also got some Chinese figures, which I had a Blastoise, I don't know if you can really see it, but it's kind of purple, so I'm not really sure if the shiny is purple or it's just uh, messed up on the color, but yeah. There's my purple Blastoise. And then I got a Pikachu, which is kind of cute. Oh, there's some. No, it don't come off. So there's a little paint on his chest for no obvious reason. It's a little bit of decent detail. And it's a little spiky right here. Where'd the plastic just come out that way? I don't know. Maybe it was made with something else and then it was just whatever was taken off it. Or maybe it just got extra in the mold they used or whatever. I don't know. And I got Charizard, which my Charizard looks pretty good. Now, I got some of these before previously, which I think I did show in another video. Oh. But anywho, let's continue. Uh, I had a Hunter here, which is kind of cool. It does have a little base to stand up. And then, yeah. It does say PKH. Oh, it does say China. I remember I didn't see the C. <laughs> I don't know if you can really see that. Yeah, that little text is PKH, I know, whatever that is. A Bree Loom. Which is missing a little bit of details, but. Hey, since it's a Chinese toy for this franchise, I'm not fully surprised. No offense to anyone in China, but in other countries, uh, things do get made a lot, it seems, but at the same time, there's even bootleg stuff in this country, and I'm not really hating because I actually like the stuff, so yeah. So there's a lot kid. And I like how the, uh, I don't know if you can really see that, but for his little, like, plug, uh, the plug pieces coming out of his head, or there's actually holes you can actually see through where they should be. So that's kind of cool that it's not just plastic straight through with that and just made to look kind of like there's supposed to be a hole there. And then I got the Swampert, which has an interesting face. <laughs> Mm. I don't know. Uh, got a Vaporeon, which if you don't know, I'm really an Evolution fan, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and then I do have a little detail to separate the tail and the rest of it. Um, I think these are might even be better than the other ones, but. Um, And then we got Mime Jr. I really like that one. Which I do have a thing for baby pocket monsters, among other things. Another PK Chain one, but this is Corsola. Yeah. I like the detail on some of these. Because, yeah. For uh, Alligator. There is some yellow on the foot that shouldn't be there, but for tiny little tiny figure, I don't think it looks too bad though. Yeah. The side, his mouth wasn't actually 
painted right so the teeth don't line up with Dazzle. Oh, can't really see it. At least on my screen it doesn't show any good. But yeah. It's got like a big spot on his side of his face where it should be yellow but it's still blue. And then it's just got the tooth sticking out. I don't see. I think I can. Oh, there. that white under the eye. <laughs> and then there's a little bit in the middle there where it's. Well, you can see the yellow isn't even, but. The yellow doesn't come up on the other side like it's supposed to to match with the tooth. Uh, another piece of plastic on the tail, which I don't know, maybe. Again, maybe it was made with someone then, or maybe just the mold they used didn't quite keep it all in, or whatever. And then, uh, Pan Sage, is it? Or is it as a bald form? I can't tell. That's horrible, but yeah. looks pretty good. The tail is not attached to the head, but it's put up that way. The ears are thin, I can kind of see some light through it, but still like this one. And that's that bag, which, yeah. Please forgive me if, uh, Blast Oasis is supposed to be purple and shiny, but I don't really know. I've seen someone on Amazon actually got a Mewtwo like they showed in the first movie where he had all the gadgetry still on him when he first escaped from Team Rocket. So that was kind of cool. I would like that one, but haven't got it so far. <laughs> and then I have this ba little velvety bag. And inside are the cards I got. Which I really want to go over. I also got other stuff, but I'm not I'm gonna do separate. Oh, I'm not gonna add anything else in this video for right now. Now first there was loose cards, which I almost missed this one because it was in between the two packages that were supposed to be here. So the one that was in between the packages is Zubat. I'm sorry, I do not know what set that is. And sorry, I can't really hold well, still very good. Yeah, there's a couple of them I'm not really sure. And then I got a uh, Esper. Please excuse me if I pronounce any names wrong. I'm horrible at the new names pronouncing, unless, of course, I uh, heard it in the anime. And then there's this Espeon, which I thought was kind of cool. It's uncommon, but it does show some wear and tear, which the open cards. Included in this can have some with wear and tear, and some that look like they just got pulled out of the uh, packs. Uh, there's an Ekans here, which is common. Gallet, which is another common. Uh, and there should be 50 here, but I think I counted 50, I don't really remember. I mean, yeah, sometimes I miscount, I didn't count them again just to make sure, but I believe there were, so there's a Skarmory, which is an uncommon, a Pharaoh Seed, which is another common, so that's kind of cool, um, a different Skarmory, which is uncommon, now, these should be from random sets. I'll actually have some packs that won't be so random, but yeah. Uh, Uncommon Larion. Common Aaron. Well, Aaron. Aaron. Something like that. Uh, common Timpole. Mm, these are all newer ones, so I don't know all their names. Uh, Phoebus, which is common, and yeah, a common Psyduck, and this is, looks like a classic card, which is kind of cool, I don't have any of these anymore, I don't think I actually had this one to begin with, 
but this uh, common squirtle I used to have in my collection. But I still like variety cards, of course. And I got Shelder here, which is common. Magmar. I can't remember if I had this one or not. That's uh, uncommon. And we got. Ponyta in some other language. Oh, it looks like I'm actually mirroring this, but yeah. That's from Team Rocket set. I don't know what P O N I T A is, which language that is for, or if it's a legit card. I think they're all legit cards, but just in case, for some reason it's not. I mean, yeah. It's been a long time since I had uh, cards in other languages, other than. Japanese, of course, which are pretty easy to tell. Um, here's a uh, common well picks. I really like that art. Uh, and then we got uncommon rapidash. Uh, flash energy, which is uncommon. Rhyhorn, which is un, which is common. I almost said uncommon. Sorry. Uh, another right horn, which is also common, but a different uh, image and stats, I think. Yeah. The hit points were the same, but this has dig out and horn drill, where the first one had just takedown. Rilo. Rilu. Well, I can't speak tonight. Level 7. So there's that one. It's another line I love. I really love Lucario. Um, another shelter, this is common. Uh, Kabuto, which is common. I used to have a whole bunch of these, cause... Mm. Yeah. But this one is not like the ones I used to have, because... It's another... Different language one. Oh. It says PB instead of HP. I don't know what that's for. Mm -hmm. And then we got Watchog, which is uncommon, but it's got a dog-eared bottom corner there. So, it's not really worth much, but it's okay if I ever do decide to build the deck anytime soon. I don't have stuff that I don't have to worry as much about their condition. Um, here I got Persian, which is uncommon. I used to have a bunch of these too. Uh, Ratata, which is uncommon. But this one is Rat Frats. I don't know. Maybe German, I can't tell. Hmm. It's got KV. Uh, and then I got EV, which is common. Can't really see it, but the background down here is a little bit rainbow, but it's really faint. And this background is the same on this card, which is a fracture. Um, uncommon. And I got Purloin, which is a common. Alright, I got Stunky, which is uncommon. Or wait, that was common. My bad. Crow Korok, which is uncommon. And I got a Carvana, which is common. K, which is common. Sneasel, which is also common. And this is Sandial, which is common. D-N-O, I think is how you pronounce it. Well, uncommon. 
I'm spelling it wrong, sorry, I'm not trying to get any names wrong, but if you know in the series, you know some are hard to pronounce, especially if you haven't heard them before and you gotta try to decipher on your own up there. <laughs> some are easier than others. But, yeah. and then I got a Murkrow, which is common, and a Purloin, which is also common. Then I have Professor Juniper, which is uncommon. Then I got an e-reader potion, which I actually never had the e-reader for the Game Boy Advance, unfortunately. But yeah, that's a common. I haven't seen an e-reader card in person in a long time, but it's kind of cool. Uh, energy amplifier, which is uncommon. Warp Point, which is uncommon. Super Scoop Up, which is uncommon. Energy Revival, which is common. Though it does have some slight damage down here. Which you can't really see good in the slight. Um, BB Search, which is uncommon. Lenut's Nut Search is uncommon. Pokedex, which is uncommon. Hmm. Oh, and those are actually some e-reader cards too. I'm not sure. It doesn't have the E on it or the bottom stuff, but it has the same. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's a reprint, but they didn't actually do the e-reader stuff on it. Um... I had a Trainer Stadium card, which is Repsies, and this is Uncommon. And those are the ones that were already unopened, or, yeah, already open. Not un Yeah, these are the ones that were already open, and were loose in the package. Not super loose, because they were actually in this. Things, and now I'm going to open these. And these are XY Fates Glide. That's ten cards. Um, I have another XY Fates Glide. Let's see. I think that's a... Well, I know that's a fully evolved form of Fennekin, but I don't know if that's... I don't think that's the, uh... The Mega Evolution, though. I can't, I'm not really that familiar with it. So, yeah. I may be wrong, so please don't quote me. <laughs> I think the Alakazam looks like it might be Mega, though. Huh. Alright, so. Uh, first, we got Rylou, which is common. So that's pretty good. Uh, Carbink, which is common. Deerling, which is common. Snivy, another common. Jigglypuff. Which is an uncommon. I like how there's Spoink and Snibby in the background, too. And then I got Amistar Break. Which I'm going to assume, because there's not really a symbol on here. The, the Break card's supposed to be rare, or at least this one is. Yeah, it's a full image card, so that's pretty cool. It's got to be turned outside. Uh, Superior. Which is rare. Alteria Spirit Link, which is uncommon. Pokemon Fan Club, which is uncommon. Then I got Kabuto, which is another uncommon. Then, of course, the online trading card code card, which I'll be using soon, hopefully. I was just given a computer that's window, so I'll be able to actually play that now. Which will be interesting. Uh, now the next pack, of course. Which, as you can see, I'm so excited I started to open it. But yeah, there's Alakazam, and it looks to me like that's the Mega Evolutions. Maybe the other one was, I'm not very sure about that. But 
Uh. Anyways, on to the next one. So we got Larvitar, which is uncommon. A common Carbink, which I think was in the other one. I don't know if it's the same exact one or not. Mm. A common Burmy. I like how it shows the different one, uh, different uh, forms. Uh, and I got Bronzor, which is common. Binnacle, which is common. I got an uncommon shekel here, which is all shiny, but it says uncommon, so it's really cool. I didn't think they still did the common or uncommon cards like that. Never really paid much attention. Then I got an Alkazam here. No symbol, but I'm gonna say this is a rare one. I really like that one. Nice, glossy, holo card. That's a whole holo, not just a small box where the image is supposed to be, so that's kind of nice. Mm, this one's wheezing, and we have Uncommon. Then, Team Rocket's Handiwork, which is Uncommon. Chick in the middle especially looks crazy. <laughs> uh, since since you know, I can't really pronounce this one yet. Um, about the card I really like, even though it's really pink, and this is an uncommon. And then of course, the code card. <laughs> So those were the cards, and then the only other thing that came in the bag, of course, was well, the bag goes inside the package would be card sleeves. So that was a nice little extra. Uh, and then I got, of course, the pack I just went through with Messina, and of course this pack, which got random other cards. Wait a minute. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Did I read this wrong? Oh yeah. Duh. Well, that makes eleven. But the actual cards most people care about are ten. And these cards, I don't think people actually save them after they use them, but I'll probably save them somewhere just for the heck of it, because I'm a little bit of a pack rat, but who knows, maybe some, it's not very many people collect them. Maybe they'll actually have some value in like 20 years. <laughs> so those are the cards, and yeah probably see some more soon. So, until next time, take care.